the Archangel Gabriel. Gabriel is an Archangel. The first mention of him is in the Hebrew Bible. He was later developed by many other traditions. In the Hebrew Bible, Gabriel appears to the prophet Daniel to explain his vision. Gabriel, the Archangel, is also a character in other ancient writings such as the Book of Enoch. Alongside Archangel Michael, Gabriel is described as the guardian angel of Israel against the angels of other nations. There is a story of the Annunciation where the angel Gabriel appears to Zechariah and the Virgin Mary foretelling the birth of John the Baptist and Jesus respectively. Luke 1:11-38. In many Christian traditions, including Anglican, Eastern Orthodox, and Roman Catholic, Gabriel is also referred to as a saint. In Islam, Gabriel is an archangel, whom God sent with revelation to various prophets, including Muhammad. The first five verses of the 96th chapter of the Quran, the clot, is believed by Muslims to have been the first five verses revealed by Gabriel to Mohammed. In the Latter-day Saint movement, the angel Gabriel is the same individual as the prophet Noah in his mortal ministry. In Yazidism, Gabriel is one of the seven mysteries, the heptad to which God entrusts the world. and sometimes identified with Melek Taos. Jewish rabbis interpreted the man in linen as Gabriel in the book of Daniel and the book of Ezekiel. In the book of Daniel, Gabriel is responsible for interpreting Daniel's visions Gabriel's main function in Daniel is that of revealer, a role he continues in later literature. Gabriel is understood to be the angel that was sent to destroy Jerusalem. According to the Jewish encyclopedia, Gabriel takes the form of a man and stands at the left hand of God. Shimon ben Lakish, Syria, Palestinia, 3rd century, concluded that the angelic names of Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel came out of Babylonian exile. Genesis Rabbi 48.9 In Kabbalah, Gabriel is identified with the Sephirah and Yezod. Gabriel has a prominent role as one of God's archangels in the Kabbalah literature. There, Gabriel is portrayed as working in concert with Michael as part of God's court. Gabriel is not to be prayed to because only God can answer prayers and sends Gabriel as his agent. According to Jewish mythology, in the Garden of Eden, there is a tree of life or tree of souls that blossoms and produces new souls which fall into the guff, the treasury of souls and takes out the first soul that comes into his hand. Then Leila, the angel of conception, watches over the embryo until it is born. The intertestamental period, roughly 200 BC, to 50 AD produced a wealth of literature, much of it having an apocalyptic orientation. The names and ranks of the angels and devils greatly expanded and each had particular duties and status before God. In 1 Enoch 9-1-3, 
Gabriel, along with Michael, Uriel, and Suriel, saw much blood being shed upon the earth. 9-1 And heard the souls of men cry, Bring our case before the Most High. The reply came from the Most High, the Holy and Great One, who sent forth agents, including Gabriel. What follows means divide and conquer. And the Lord said to Gabriel, Proceed against the bastards and the reprobates, and against the children of fornication, and destroy the children of fornication, and the children of the watchers from amongst men, and cause them to go forth, send them one against the other, that they may destroy each other in battle. For length of days they shall not have. 1 Enoch 10.9 Gabriel is the fifth of the five angels who keep watch. Gabriel, one of the holy angels, who is over paradise, and the serpents, and the cherubim. 1 Enoch 27 The name Gabriel means, God is my strength.